Connor, yes, I should do a video on the heel click, man. Damn. Especially after the uh, the video today with the kid from UNC, or the guy from USC. Man, his footwork was pretty pretty impressive. So a heel click, see if you can see this desk. When you throw, you want all your feet lined up, kind of toes in a line, just like you're playing golf, where you want to throw. That doesn't mean that you always step in a line, whatever. But you want to have all your cleats in the ground, kind of shoulder width plus. But your base can be wider. There's no set kind of rule on what a base needs to be, meaning your feet in the ground. But what's your feet in the ground, when you, sh when you hitch up, you don't want the feet to come together. You want tight hitches or tight resets where you're always ready to throw. So really well-trained quarterbacks will keep their base and all their cleats in the ground, not get toesy. A toesy heel click is the worst. All your cleats in the ground, tight hitch, always ready to throw, all your cleats in the ground in the back. Not your ankle. All your cleats in the ground, right in the back. Tight turn, no heel click because you you can't throw from right here. You then have to go widen out and go all the way down as opposed to being tight, ready to go in a perfect throwing position. That's what the heel click I'm talking about.